Hello there and welcome to Chitta Diaries. I'm just going to act like I haven't been gone <laughs> for five months, but at least I lied you guys the last time. I'll, you know, I expressed the fact that I may not be as consistent, but yeah, here I am uh, doing an update and I hope I won't take up too much of your time, even though I usually do, but I'll just get straight into it. There's three things that I want to talk about today and I will first address the last video that I did. So back in November 2019, today is April the 22nd, but yeah, a good five, six months ago, I did a video where I wanted to change the products that I use and try and go on this whole natural thing where I don't use products with sulfates or silicones and then I wanted to go a step further and avoid um, products with glycerin and I will leave a link to that video as to why <laughs> but yeah I honestly thought I was going to you know moving forward get myself a whole product stash look for a brand that didn't have any of those three but the quacha went <laughs> to shit okay towards the end of 2019 and it like it I could not afford okay to import products during that time and even now like things still haven't gotten better in fact they've just gotten worse so I had to halt my plans, like it wasn't that serious, you know, for me to spend almost double the amount of what I may have spent, you know, when I had all these hopes of getting a product. So I abandoned the whole glycerin, sulfate-free, silicone-free thing. And now that we're in the middle of a pandemic, like I definitely, definitely can't be focused on importing, you know, products or whatever. Whatever I have on me, whatever I have access to is what I will continue to use. And for those of you who are new, I... Big chopped in December of 2017 and, and Jackie's has been like the brand that I have used for the past going like yeah two and a half years like I've been using mostly and Jackie's products and they're okay <laughs> they are still they are sulfate free but they aren't silicone free like a good number of their products have silicones and a good number of products also have glycerin as you know the first five ingredients so that's you know with regards to that <laughs> yeah then in terms of my hair routine, I haven't really done that many natural hair videos. In fact, prior to me making this one, I tried to do a sort of recap with what I had shared in the past. And 2018 was a good year <laughs> for me. Like I tried to, you know, pump out content. 2019, not so much. Like a whole bunch of stuff went down towards the, you know, the l latter half of the year and even the beginning of 2020. This pandemic aside, it was kind of rough so I didn't really make that much content but from what I shared back then and I was able to look back and just try and remember you know what I was doing with my hair things have changed so two years ago when I was you know relatively consistent my hair was very short and I had a teeny weeny afro from, from the point of me big chopping you know maybe six months into it or yeah four to five six months into it i literally wore my hair out in a teeny weeny afro predominantly and i absolutely loved it i was confident <laughs> with my shrinkage the, my, my kinky hair like it was everything to me and i embraced it and yeah like that was it like i styled my hair in a teeny weeny afro week in week out Towards the end of 2018, I began to experiment with long-term protective styling, which I absolutely loved. And it became a thing where, you know, I was trying to retain length. So my routine back then was put in a long-term protective style for three weeks. And then for one week, I would have my hair out, you know, wash it, deep condition it, moisturize it properly. And then the following weekend, wash it again and then put it into another long-term protective style. And that was my routine for a while. And then 2019 came about, I, I did continue with that, and then in August of 2019, so that's when things changed. I moved to a new town, got a new job, and <laughs> one, granted my hair had gotten longer, and two, I had to change the way I was dyeing my hair. So I was coming from a place, so prior to that I lived in a farming community, really small town, I was there for five years, that's where... You know, I had my transition slash big job, I had my team mini afro there, like the clientele and just like like no one really cared. People were 
happy when I big chopped like oh you know they embrace my natural hair of course once in a while I would, I would get comments where like you know like oh you know like maybe you should braid your hair like you're, you're getting to that awkward length but I didn't care and they let me like there was literally no hard feelings like there was no pressure <laughs> to make an effort and I was team low manipulation like that was my motto I had no time to be twisting my hair at night or resetting it and granted it was short so I could get away with that I would literally slap my bonnet on following morning either moisturize it or just let it go flap it out like that was my life but then i moved to a new place and it was more of a corporate environment and i could definitely feel the pressure there so i went from being extremely confident with my teeny mini afro to being in a place where I, you know <laughs> like like my female counterparts if i can call them that like they wore wigs like straight wigs or if they had their hair out, it would be very slick. <laughs> it'd be, you know, it'd be a very, it'd be in very slick styles. Or they would just like, you know, have neat cornrows, which was sleek, basically. I couldn't do what I used to do back in, you know, the farming community, and <laughs> that was a strain. And I, yeah, like it, 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 it really did break me because I went from being so confident in wearing my hair out to being in a place where I was scared I was going to get called in <laughs> by my supervisor and called, you know, like untidy, like do something about like, like, like I just felt uneasy. So that was kind of sad. So now I had to make an effort, you know, with my, with my natural hair. And whenever I would have my hair out, the only styles really that I could pull off without, you know, like, ruffling too many feathers were an afro and even the afro like granted like i love my afro i would try and insert a picture here but you know it's it's it's, it's still not something i can do permanently like i feel like it would be an issue which is sad like it's really sad so there's the afro <laughs> and then there's perm rods or bantu knot outs which you know look really nice but with those ones i can't do you know like low manipulation where i set it during the weekend and then during the course of the week i, I just slap a, a bonnet on and then kind of flap it out with my fingers like no i found out or got to a place where i realized that i had to reset my hair every single night and that is just so much manipulation but i honestly could not pull off curls without resetting them every night so you know so it was it was heavy manipulation so i, I went from being to no ma manipulation when I had my hair out to, you know, <laughs> literally having to mess with it every single day. And same thing goes with the afro. I, you know, can't just slap a bonnet on and then wake up the next morning and go about my day. My hair has gotten longer. So despite the fact that, you know, like I have to look neat now in, you know, this corporate world that I've found myself in, my hair has definitely gotten longer and I have found out the hard way that I actually need to stretch my hair when I'm sleeping like I can't just sleep on it because it gets so tangled so that's another thing and the third and last style that I can that I'm able to do you know for the office is a low puff again I'll try and insert a picture of that and that is my least favorite so like yes I can push my hair into a ponytail but I hate the fact that I have to use so much gel and literally pull my hair you know into this like very very you know tense position sorry <laughs> excuse me it's not the rona my equipment is dusty <laughs> like i'm standing in front of my lights that i haven't used in months so that's why but yeah i you know was high key struggling <laughs> with styling my hair and yeah i i i continue to long-term protective style but except now um, I am not doing the whole three weeks and one week thing. I'm now doing four weeks and then I leave my hair out for two weeks because I do want to deep condition my hair more. <laughs> so I guess that is my current routine. So in terms of actually handling my hair, I don't mess with it. So I don't manipulate it for four weeks at a time. It's in a long-term protective style. Like you can see here, these are passion twists. And then when it comes to me having my hair out, I give myself two weeks to manipulate it, you know, or comb it out every day. And then in terms of me nurturing and caring for my hair, I have maintained a, a sort of balance. So for three weeks, for three consecutive weeks, I am 
there is some sort of wash day going on like a full wash day where i deep condition my hair and it's really really important and then i go to another three weeks three consecutive weeks where it's in a long-term protective style and i'm not washing it i'm just slightly oiling my scalp when it gets dry or itchy so that has been you know my <laughs> routine then with regards to styling and why i'm <laughs> back here uh to be honest like 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 i had mentioned in my i think my previous videos as to why you know like i had, had stopped making videos and whatnot i felt like i didn't have much content to give out there's so many helpful videos so many youtube channels but i got to a point where like i like i've mentioned i was struggling with finding styles for my hair and i have thin kinky natural hair yes as soon as i big chopped I, I tried a couple of popular styles and i realized very quickly <laughs> that they weren't for me but i was in a position back then where i could literally wear my hair as it was like i would literally just wear an afro and go about my life and it was fine like i wasn't really forcing twist outs or braid outs or whatnot or even wash and goes like when i did when I, when I did a wash and go like if it was kinky like that's what you were getting like whatever my curl or kink pattern was like that's what the world was getting like i wasn't forcing anything but I obviously can't do that anymore. So I would now sit, you know, you know, the present times, look up videos, try and see what, you know, I can do for my hair to really avoid this whole manipulating it every day. Cause it's like, trust me, you're, like, like my ends would begin to break off and I wouldn't even advise that you go that route. It's just that, you know, I only have my hair out for two weeks, once every six weeks. So I can get away with it. It's, 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 it's not like a 360. 365 situation yeah but still i wanted to you know look for alternatives so i tried looking up styling videos so even though yes i acknowledge that the hair type that i had i realized that even you know the content that i would see the styling videos with kinky naturals with type 4c hair or type 4b hair most of them have really really thick luscious hair so it's not just about finding someone with 4c hair sometimes it's people with really really thick hair and then you have thin hair and you know that it's not going to work out for you so that was a struggle <laughs> okay sorry battery died i needed to look for styles that would work with my thin hair so on one hand i would find ladies with 4c you know kinky hair or 4b kinky hair but it was really thick and i couldn't pull it off and then two the styles that they would do uh, styles that I, I guess would be cute for Instagram or YouTube tutorials, but it's not something that I could wear to the office every day. I needed something that was corporate and sleek, and even if it wasn't sleek, it just needed to be low manipulation for me, and that's why I've had a hard time. But thankfully, you know, I realized that, and I would, you know, really, really look for videos, even try and add thin natural hair into the search box, and. That has been you know vital for me and, and it's quite important and what i wanted to share with you here that if you do have thin hair like me definitely don't get discouraged if you keep seeing content with people that have that have really thick hair like just accept the fact you know that, like i know we, we've already ac ac accepted our kinky you know natural hair but then if it's thin <laughs> you also have to accept that and look for styles that can you know better suit you and then not only is my hair thin <laughs> I don't have edges like you guys like I literally don't have edges I won't take this off because I've had these passion twists in for three and a half we weeks and this is the DIY project like what's up here is a mess but yes I don't have edges so I can't even pull off those cute styles with like a halo braid in the front like it's 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 struggle thing so yes I definitely came to you know that level of acceptance and i found a couple of videos that i hope to try out you know some style inspiration which i haven't yet done but i you know i hope i will eventually so wanted to share on that and then the last thing has been long-term protective styling and the fact that the entire world is experiencing this pandemic and for the first time in my life you guys i had to do a long-term protective style with extensions out of desperation because i could not go to Osaka or even just here because I, I live in Chongwe i didn't want to go to the market to see the, to see the lady who does my hair sometimes because you know I'm, I'm trying to stay home i'm trying to keep myself safe so i watched a whole bunch of youtube videos and i will give a shout out to two particular channels one is called amia renee and the other is naturally engineered 
there's so many ladies I know who do really great videos with long term protective styling but I'll just reference these two because they are the most recent ones that I have watched and who like you know heavily inspired this whole DIY thing and they have really great videos. Amia does lots of long term protective styling. Of course I have mod I had to modify you know her methods to suit you know what I had in me in terms of product and just technique. Hopefully in the future I will share you know some DIY videos. When it comes to naturally engineered, what I like her for is how she actually styles her long-term protective styles. So she has like box braid styles and, you know, goddess lock styles for the office as well. So <laughs> it's it's not like space bun, you know, tutorials like I can't wear space buns to the office. They're cute, like for the weekend or for Instagram. But, you know, that's been my issue, like looking for styles that work for me for the office. And then some of you might be thinking, mm -hmm. we're in the middle of a pandemic, no one's going for work. Oh, some of us are. I still have to show up to the office at least twice a week. Of course, there are some weeks where like maybe I'll, I'll, I'll go the whole day if I'm needed. Sometimes I'm at home. But there are some of us who are still going for work. And, you know, when we eventually come out of this, this video might be relevant to those times. So that's what I wanted to share. But yeah, otherwise, I would honestly have remained under my cave. <laughs> but I realized that I do look for content out there to better suit my hair and it's, it can be a struggle sometimes so I figured why not just document what I do or what I have been doing like I did in the past because years later I can look back at it and it's quite helpful to me and maybe there is someone with my exact same hair type going through the same you know struggles so that's that was the whole point of this YouTube channel to begin with anyways so that's why I'm back <laughs> plus I have time like we all have time like I, I, I don't know if I already said this but everybody is coming after the woodworks I know it's annoying like where have they been <laughs> well we are back we have time and yes thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you soon bye